What's up, Conscious Family? This is episode two of the Self-Reflection Series. And at this time, you may want to take out your journal. Something to write with, maybe a voice recorder, something to record your thoughts. Because in this episode, we're asking some more deep questions to know yourself. All right, so question number one, what are some of your strengths? Most of the time, We are asked this question in job interviews or as some type of qualifier for an opportunity. But stepping aside from that idea that there is a perfect answer that you should have, what are your strengths in your life? Is it that you feel very connected to nature or animals? Do you have a lot of patience for children? Are you really good at kickboxing? Maybe a strength is that you can write novels easily and effortlessly. Now that we have identified our strengths, what are your weaknesses? I categorize a weakness as something that will make my energy feel low or that I'm moved by it emotionally in a negative light. So what makes you feel stressed? What makes you angry? What makes you upset? What is something you have identified is something you just are not good at. It is important to remember that just because it's a weakness right now doesn't mean it will be forever. Number three, who are the people that bring out the best in you? Who are the ones that challenge your weaknesses and push you to be better? Who are the people in your life that are feeding the calling on your life? Who are the people that constantly bring out the best version of you? How about the ones bringing out your weaknesses. Do you have people in your life that often make you feel like you have to dim your light when you're around them? Do you feel unsupported and alone by those you love the most? It can be difficult to navigate this, but it's important to identify that this is how you truly feel. Do you encourage negative influences on yourself? Why or why not? This can happen in many ways. One of the most popular ones I identified with myself was not allowing anyone to call me a bad bitch, even if their intentions were to uplift me. I'd much rather be called queen. It was hard to articulate at first. Then I realized how much it mattered to me. So I spoke up and made it a standard for myself. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of the Self-Reflection Series. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Comment below, subscribe, and share this with a friend that might be on this journey with you. Until next time, thank you for tuning in to Consciously Melanated Queen.